Why are we called Negroes? Why are we deaf, dumb, and blind? Why is everybody making progress, yet we seem to be lagging so far behind? Why are we mistreated? Why are we in this condition, stripped of our name, our language, our culture, our God, and our religion? Yes, Here yes, in yes, America, yes, in all of our religious training. We're back again. This is the yes. best time that we wait for because we have to wait a whole week. You know, growing <laughs> up, we loved our mother's cooking. We, we loved our family's cooking. But when it came time to go out to that restaurant that we loved maybe once a week, right? <laughs> it was a good thing. So we loved yes, the cooking sir. all week, right? People love the shows I do, but there's something special about Brother Neil Frazier. Lifetime of work and research and experience. And even before you knew what you know now, you had life experiences that you tie in the research into and make it where we can digest it easier because we've been through many yes, of the sir. same similar situations. So we yeah. can relate to you as opposed yes. to somebody who may not look like us, experience what we experienced. They can't kick it to us the same way. That's right. You know? Let me That's say, right. I'm, not even being, I'm not even being funny to certain people right now. I'm going to say it like this. For those of us who eat chicken, maybe we don't eat it no more. We used to eat it. But white people don't season chicken like, like the brothers and the sisters. <laughs> the chicken we That's make, a it's a bomb, That's a right? Fact. Oh, they yeah, no question. But it you can't season even come it. close. Exactly, in a very special way. So that being said, welcome on, brother. We're going to jump on this right away. Yes, sir. Gonna, say, that title, Digital Demons. Man, what oh, I my saw God. It, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was it was something uh that uh just jumped at me uh through an experience that I had uh recently. And uh you know, sometimes we can be in the dark about things and it's right in our face. Yes. And and not even be aware of it. But uh but yeah, brother Lance, before I come on, I just want to thank you again for the opportunity to speak on your platform. Yes. I want to greet everyone in the chat room. I hope everybody had a productive weekend. And uh, <clears throat> I'm excited about this topic because uh, we, we are in a spiritual warfare. There is no question about that. And uh, thank you for the kind words. I, I always look forward to uh, you know being on the platform and making sure I have something that can contribute to our continual growth and development. Yes. Um, so, yeah, like the title says today, uh, Digital Demons, the New Altar of Worship. And uh, again, I ran across this subject through an experience that I had that was kind of kind of freakish in a way, for lack of a better term. I was uh, I was going through some things. And uh, sometimes, you know, I'm paying attention. I'm not paying attention. I'm doing some other things. Mm -hmm. And so, and so I just happened, it, it was something she was saying. So I just happened to look and brother, I swear it looked like two big eyes looking right at me from inside the app. Wow. And I was like, whoa, I kind of sat back a little bit and looked again and it wasn't there anymore. And I said, wait a minute, I know what I just saw. OK, and I know that I just saw a pair of it was like a, a half a second of a blink. And I was like, what is that? I had yeah. never seen that before. And, I, you know, we've been looking at these devices for a long time. Mm -hmm. And so and so I said, uh, well, let me let me look at this in a different way. Let me look at uh, how these counterfeit spirits and these demons as we call them how they are using the digital world to to really um come at us through other people and through mainly and so when i when i decided to look at it what i saw was that th this was like the new altar of worship like yes. we worship google's knowledge 
uh, and you know, we as religious people, we're always worshiping something. <laughs> but now, yeah, but now these counterfeit spirits have come up with a way in which we can worship them, okay, and not even be aware of it. And, and so there are several areas I want to cover today. Um, and I'll just go down the list and then, and then we'll talk about it. Uh, sure. The floor is yours, brother. Uh, let me, let okay, you know. brother. Okay. Yes, sir. So we, we are hypnotized by counterfeit spirits and digital demons. Um, what the, the definition of hypnosis is when something outside of you takes control of you. So that you could be aware of it, hypnotized, uh, where you're, you know, aware of the fact that something is wrong. But in most of these cases, we're hypnotized and not even know it. Um, how, how is that done? It's done through sensory overload. Uh, one example is uh, uploading hate. So we know that these counterfeit spirits that are now using the internet or have been for a while, that they upload things that uh, perpetrate their wickedness. So hate is one of the greatest vehicles that they have to use. And so they, they do that very effectively. You can go anywhere on the internet and find hate. Um, what else does the digital demons do? Uh, what you are watching is watching you. And, and, and I was just telling you about that experience I had. Uh, it, it was kind of uh, unnerving. But uh, I realized that whatever it is that I'm watching is also watching me. Um, not just on a device, okay, like a phone or an iPad or a laptop, but the television as well. We've always known this, but uh, they are taking it to a different level because the truth that's not being told is that uh, we are no longer in control of this world. These digital demons control this world. And if you don't believe it, I, uh, I heard a lady saying the other day how this six-year-old had a temper tantrum. When she was, I forgot where she said she was, but the mother took the phone from the child and he just went spastic all over the floor, crying, yelling. And I was like, wow, you know, we, we are really, our children are really attached and these digital demons have, have taken them under control to the point that they have possessed their minds. Um, also, while they're watching us, we know that these are spirits in digital form. The other um, way that, that these digital demons actually control our lives and possess us, okay, is through text messages, through DMs, through uh, emails, through Facebook and Instagram. Because even if you don't want to, if you block a person, they have several different ways to come at you. So a lot of things I'm discovering now, since I've gotten this exposure from you, Lance, is I have all these different people, okay, just trying to, Get in, and it's good in the sense that <clears throat> you always have to weed out or vet anything that you deal with, right? But also, when you don't want to be bothered with a situation that individuals are bringing to you that you know puts you in certain situations or stress you out or what have you, these digital demons that are attached to our lives will find other ways in which they can contact us or at least uh, make us know that they are still in our lives. Like we were talking when you, you were saying how these entities follow you throughout your life. That is true. And, and now they've just found another way in which to do it. 
And, and we all know we're also in a electromagnetic warfare. And so they're able to use all of these uh, electronic avenues now in order to reach us even when we don't want to be reached. Uh, you are targeted because someone is blocking your assignment. Why, why are they doing it? Why are you targeted? Uh, we'll come back to that as well. One of the one of the big concerns that I always have is pedophilia. You know, they are after our children. Somehow we don't get this. You know, they're seducing these digital demons are seducing our kids every single day. Uh, like I just mentioned with the lady talking about the video games, uh, we don't know what's in these vid uh, video games. Most of the videos that the kids are watching and the young people are watching, we have no idea what's in these um, video games. There was a game, I'm trying to think of it, that uh, they censored. Maybe someone in the chat room knows. This was years ago. It was a cartoon, and, and they found out that this cartoon was possessing kids or bringing forth this uh, demonic ideology that um, the children, they were incorporating it, not knowing the wickedness behind it. Um, maybe I'll think about it. Um, also, your uh, mental state is orchestrated by narratives you follow online. So, they have a digital blueprint of you already from data from the years of data mining. Okay, so what, what they do is they they orchestrate these digital demons that are a part of your life and your assignment, and that's trying to block your assignment from the creator. They know everything that you do online. Um, also, they're familiar spirits. I remember, I remember this uh, movie, and, and they're familiar spirits because, again, they know our desires. They know things we like. So it's just like if you're searching something, and then all of a sudden, all of these ads come up for this subject you're talking about. You know, people want to attribute this to artificial intelligence. I believe that there is a sinister, wicked, counterfeit spirits in digital form that's carrying out their agenda, okay, against us, okay, because they have found this whole new vortex that's open that they can constantly contact us digitally, okay, where it's so much of a sensory overload, okay, and I'm going to define that too as well, that, um, you know, we have to pick and choose what we fight against because it's such a sensory overload. Um, yeah, the bots uh, are designed to recognize your digital blueprint. So um, I believe I heard you talking about this one time, Lance, where, uh, you know, your digital blueprint is already there. So they know who to, how to attract you. They know what you like. They know the people that are also associated with you and what they like. And, and so they have all of this data mining that I believe that these um, counterfeit spirits are now using through these digital demons to attack us spiritually, mentally, and in some cases physically. Um, because you have situations where people are being bullied online. Um, not just outright bullying like we know, but also they're using the lore of, uh, I like to call it a carrot on a stick, okay, because they make all of these promises about what you can do, you can become a millionaire, you can do all of this, and, you, and so, but it requires you to attach to them their program. So all you're all you're looking at is the fiat. You're not looking at what the whole who's behind this 
why they are behind it and how this is designed and you're targeted so they can block your assignment and your purpose because that's really what it's all about okay because they know if they get enough people okay possessed and hypnotized that they don't have to worry about you no more you're not a threat to them because all of the other people that you're associated with that's one of the reasons why they use our family and our inner circles against us because it's more like a familiar spirit you're not really gonna think that okay well something is using them to destroy me or to get at me or to destroy the works that you know i have before me so all of this comes into play and they do this through false and misleading promises to seduce you um they also they also um have a electronic connection to you you may not be aware of this but they have a electronic connection to you to the synapses of your brain that's how deep that is um digital propaganda okay we we are constantly being led astray uh one good example is the movie that they did about false a false flag wag the dog where they create these scenarios that your attention is so caught up into like these wars while they're doing their wickedness behind the scenes we don't know what they're doing in these places that they're telling us you know every day when you look on the news we don't we don't actually know what they're doing what we know is they're killing thousands of people mercilessly and they're also uh setting up a new world order that they can they can live stream whatever and upload whatever it is that they want to influence you on okay uh the other thing that was fascinating that i found out was that they're putting organic material in the new tvs uh the organic led tvs now this is similar to these these flat tvs you hang on your wall are like doorways okay in between dimensions and i believe the reason why they put the organic material in it is because these digital demons need a uh some type of organic material in order to manifest fully okay because they're literally stepping into this dimension now through these organic materials that work through the digital world um and and, and the agenda of these uh digital demons is to have you so possessed okay that you cannot carry out not only your assignment, but the assignment you have with other people. Uh, because you you can you can literally be dealing with someone who is not the person that you think they are. Um, a good example is a lot of times when they send these pictures, I know for men, these beautiful women, and uh, you know, trying to seduce you and saying all these things to you electronically. Sometimes I, I told Lance this one time. I found out that uh, the, these are men that uh, they get they they hijack different women's um, profiles and then they present it to you as if you're dealing with that actual person. So I, I came up with a way to deal with that. I was like, okay, well, I don't deal with anybody electronically unless i can facetime you and that eliminated like 90 percent of the problem um but again the the biggest thing that they do is the ones that are controlling this digital information is they are being possessed by these digital demons okay they are being possessed by them in order that they can again bring forth their wicked agenda into the world <laughs> we dealing with we dealing with some real wicked people man and uh 
contrary to what they have taught our people, that's not what they believe. They believe in this Luciferian energy, okay? But they have our people believing in this, okay? When when they have no, you all you have to do is look at the fruits, okay? This is what nature teaches us. And then you'll know there, there is no mystery, okay? Once you look at nature and nature being our greatest teacher, we see plainly that whatever fruit comes off of that tree, that's what it is. It's not an orange if it's an apple tree. It's not going to produce oranges. So we've been we've been thoroughly hoodwinked in that area. Um, now don't get me wrong. There, there's good and bad in everything. I, I'm just dealing with this side that has now manifested itself to a point where it has turned our society society into a real hell hole. Um, and, and we all know, I mean, we have to use uh, digital uh, devices and software to produce anything or to talk to anyone on the phone if, we're, if there's a large distance between us physically. However, um, and, and I saw this too, uh, I forgot what I was watching. I forgot the name of the program because a lot of times I, I, you know, I'm not paying really attention to it. But if something catches my eye, and uh, oh yeah, with uh, uh, what do they call this technology where they can have a person in front of you and it's electronically manufactured? Ah, uh, I'll think of it in a second. Because I, I saw one where they had Tupac on stage performing. So they can make you believe that something is actually physically manifested in front of you when actually it's not. It's just a digital demon that is using that to seduce you because it knows that this is something that you love. And so there, there is no um, boundaries also when it comes to this, okay? They don't, they don't think about, you know, the fact that, okay, this is going to affect blah, blah, blah. This is going to have a negative. No, that, that is not how the people who actually program these softwares and that are under the control of these counterfeit spirits and many times they're driven by fiat. So they're given an exorbitant amount of fiat in order to deceive you and the rest of the world, you and me and the rest of the world. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So what they do is they use your personal desires, okay, against you to entice you. That's, that's what I wanted to actually say is that everything that you desire, sort of like when you go to a supermarket to shop, okay, there's a subliminal suggestion in the move in the uh, music at the subconscious level that you're unaware of. And why they, it's so deep where there are certain aisles, okay, that have the highest selling items because of a specific uh, tonality in the music that attracts people to that aisle. So it, it's like that, where they're using a much greater form of psychology against us in order to have you under their spell. Um, yeah, I, I mentioned earlier about the, the children being seduced through these video games because these children are emotionally attached to this artificial world, okay? And again, it's my contention that this artificial world is not what we think it is, that these are uh, these uh, counterfeit spirits that have been trying to break into our um, dimension, okay, for eons. And they have successfully done that through this digital world and through other means. 
um, yeah, we're, our, our kids are, are possessed by the, these digital demons and they are unable to break free. So while you're saying Jesus and praying and doing all this, you need to be looking at these digital demons that are attacking your children through these devices. And no one is exempt. They attack my children. They'll attack your children. They'll attack anybody. So, you know, and again, they use these familiar spirits where, you know, you're thinking this is a friend, okay, that you're dealing with online when this is actually someone being used by these digital demons in order to control you and, and to affect your assignment here on the planet. Um, also, the digital mind. Um, I, I came across this um, terminology because I was looking at how um, they can tie in different groups of people, okay, almost like one mind, okay, and, and they're moving like in, in one mind, as one mind. And so all of the people in that group, wherever they are, they're using okay this seduction or this desire with all of the people in that group have okay because this is to counteract the divine law of oneness we all know okay that at the uh electromagnetic level that we start out as waves we know this Okay, and, and we, we all know that we are chosen, okay, for a purpose. So it stands to reason that these same forces that have been attacking us for thousands of years, okay, that they have found a new way, um, making you think, I, I like to call it intellectual ignorance, okay, because you think that because you have mastered something in this digital world and you know you should but the point i want to make is what they're doing is they're controlling what you know what avenues you use how you use it and the people that have access to that um, as i mentioned earlier um, they're using bullying they're using groups of people to bully certain people. Okay, um, there are some incidences where um, a couple of young people killed themselves, committed suicide because of this. Also, there's a, a form of blackmail that's being used by these digital demons because there are a lot of things that, you know, you don't want people to know about you, but guess what? <laughs> you, you know, they have opened up this vortex where there is nothing hidden they will blackmail you based on the compromises that you have made okay they know that there is a natural karma that exists in the world so they know that once they get you to a point where you're not thinking about that that they can basically cause your own actions and reactions to things that they put and upload before you to bring on your own natural karma against you. That's how deep that is. Um, also intrusion, like I said earlier, you have people that will intrude your life, you know, come into your life just because you may be on Facebook, you may be on Instagram, wherever you are, you still have the right to control who comes into your life and who doesn't, okay? If they don't have evil intentions, yeah, it's fine. You know, I connect with people. But at the same time, okay, there's a war going on in this process. So you may have 10 notifications of people who send you a request, okay? It's, it's like the, the story of the thousand snakes. Oh, like the, the snake that... uh. <laughs> It came up to Lance's house, you know, but 
you're going to open the door to see which 100 of these snakes are non-poisonous just because somebody said, well, we can give you a million dollars if you let these snakes in? No, I don't think so. Because all it takes is one of them to bite you for you to be out of here. So this is, this is what they do as well. They hide behind these familiar spirits that you're familiar with online. And then you, you could be communicating with uh, one person or a group of people, but then they're connected to another group, okay, that has wicked intentions that you are totally unaware of. And all of this is being orchestrated because you have your own digital demon, okay, sort of like when they have a uh, dossier about you, which they do, okay? So basically, it's like, well, okay, they blocked that one, let's go here. Oh, they blocked them too, let's do this. Okay, so, ah, no, let's, let's come at them through a seduction, a seducing email, or let's present something to them that, um, you know, well, it's non-threatening, okay? So since we live in a society where there are no checks and balances, there is no boundary between us and this wicked, evil system that exists, then all, you know, all cards are on the table. So again, our people are so naive when it comes to things, okay? The, the same people that run the system that has literally destroyed our people, okay? They are the ones, and, and, and I wanna bring up something as well while I'm talking about this, because a lot of these people are in this industry. The Arabs were the first racists. And what these sand devils did is they raped Africa. They took, you know, they took the best that our people had claim it, okay, and treated our people like animals for 1,300 years. They were the first enslavers. But what we don't fully recognize is a lot of them are into uh, coding, uh, software development, okay, so they are, they are training because they know you, okay, they, they brought their religion to you. Um, they enslaved. Some of the things they did was very barbaric. I saw a movie on it maybe a couple months ago. Very barbaric. So, again, you know, the, these people are being used by these digital demons based on their own hatred for black people. And so this is being put into everything that they develop okay and they can say whatever they want you know we know what they have done to our people and continue to do okay but um their day is coming too they're going to get their nigga car too one day trust and believe because the people that they're dealing with is more wicked than them but they have you know gotten into bed together okay these same wicked people that hate black people, all of them are in bed together, but they have a rude awakening coming. They just don't know it yet. They have a very rude awakening coming. Um, the other thing too is uh, they use false doctrines, okay, to hide their spiritual wickedness and unrighteousness. Okay, but we see, um, we see it through their behavior. Okay, so we, we know through their behavior, how they feel about us, okay? And I feel the same way about them. You know, I'm not one of those turn the other cheap people, okay? Uh, they track you through Wi-Fi technology. Now, everywhere you go or your device goes and you use Wi-Fi, these digital demons know where you are, okay? And then they work through whatever Wi-Fi you're using to, to basically upload the same thing to you wherever you go. Because they know as soon as they upload it, 
your your focus is going to change from whatever your assignment for that day is. So as soon as they um, upload the garbage that you like, then they're going to use that. Okay, wherever you use in that Wi-Fi that they have tracked you. Okay, and this is not being paranoid. This is reality. I don't, you know, even knowing all this stuff, I don't care. I still go to places I want to go and I still do the things I want to do. I don't let these digital demons control my life. Even the telephone, I decide who I want to talk to because all day long, they are using your telephone and any device you have to interfere with your assignment and what you're supposed to do on that particular Sunday. Um, also, they use depression and anger software programs. Okay, that, that's something else that they use against you because, you know, when you see these people and, and, and they're angry or depressed, you would be like, oh, what's wrong with them? How did they change so quickly into that? Okay, the, the reason why is because they have sent something through that electronic device because they have an electronic connection to the neural networks in your body, in your, in your brain, that they don't, have to, they don't have to see you anymore to affect you. OK, they can just send something, OK, via one of these airways and affect you. Um, they also use energy vampires, OK, to stress you out. You know, and you know, you have some people every day they're contacting you. How you doing, bro? I miss you, bro. I miss you, sis. How you doing today? Uh, you got any free time to talk later? You know, constantly, constantly, every day. And it's usually the same people or the same emails because now they have email marketing programs where they, the same people, you can't, I mean, people have thousands of emails, these, the same emails that are coming day in and day out that you can't do anything about. And this is also used as a form of energy vampirism to stress you out, to suck all your energy out, okay? Uh, we spend eight hours a day on apps and devices and thousands of uh, TV programs are live streaming all of the time. And, and so th this particular um, overload, this, the, this particular programs that they use Okay, and they constantly upload is directed towards you. Okay, and as hard as that is to, to really wrap your head around, I believe through my own personal research that each one of us, okay, have a personal digital demon that is every day, every hour, 24-7 constantly looking at what you're looking at, what you're doing, what you, because the warfare that's going on at that level, they're three or four days ahead of us, in some cases, months or years. Um, when I say they are ahead of us is that they know that there is, uh, in the energy realm, that there is something that is coming. They know, they know this energy is there. They may not know specifically what it is. Um, I'll give an example, because our people um, comprehend things better when we use scripture. So it is what it is. But uh, the prophet Daniel uh, had uh, brought in the wise men to interpret this dream that he had. And this dream was given to him and an energy vortex, okay, which he could not comprehend. Uh, I'm sorry, there was a king, I think it was King Nebuchadnezzar, and the prophet Daniel interpreted it for him, okay? And that is because 
you know, and we use these names of these people. We know that this is not what their actual name is, or even that the story itself, okay, could just be an allegory for something that we're dealing with in life. All of these are possibilities, okay? But the fact, it doesn't change the fact that, th th that this energy vortex, this spiritual world, is actually a blueprint for what is manifested. And Daniel had the ability to see into that world, okay? And it's sort of like, uh, if, if you could see into the energy world, you would be afraid to move because you would see all these lasers, okay, like everywhere. You would be afraid to walk. Okay, so this world exists. They have effectively used this world or they are effectively using this world in order to um, possess our people. Now, I, I want to talk about something because this was in the... Uh, this was actually in uh, in the title, so I, I want to. Okay, so the new altar and the new worship that they have our people doing now. Um, I want to give the definition of, of uh, four words that will shed light on this. Um, one is um, the altar. Okay, is uh, in in religious. Uh, terminology is the table in a Christian church at which the bread and wine or the, the body and the blood which it represents are consecrated in what is called communion services. However, there is another term for an altar which is which really defines the individuals that I'm talking about who have you participating at these altars with what I just read you, but this is not, their agenda is totally different. Okay, so this definition of altar defines it more clearly what I'm talking about. A table or flat top block used as the focus for a religious ritual especially for making sacrifices or offerings to a deity. And see, that's what you're doing without even realizing it. Because I'm gonna read that again. You think you're going to an altar, okay, to participate in some type of uh, communion services with bread and wine and consecrating, when actually, what you're doing is um, you're, you're focused on something that you don't see like when Daniel looked into that realm and he saw the reality of it, you're not seeing that. But what you're being diverted with is um, a religious ritual for making sacrifices or offerings to a deity and you don't even know it. Okay, let's look at the word worship. We'll look at the noun and the verb aspect of it. Uh, the noun aspect of worship is the feelings or expression of reverence and a condition and uh, adoration, again, for a deity. So the verb form is to show reference and adoration for a deity or to honor with religious rites. So this is this is what's happening when you're involved with these digital demons. You're at their altar, which is Google. And then at that altar, you're actually worshiping these deities, okay, these false gods, without your knowledge. Because you're looking to them to answer everything. And again, I go back to these evil people um, who have enslaved our people for 1,300 years who are a big part of programming this software, okay, and coding 
that is um, actually putting these uh, counterfeit spirits are using them, okay, to actually put this hate that they have towards our people into the digital world. And they can say whatever they want. That is a fact. Okay, then let's look at the word hypnotize. Um, it's to produce a state of hypnosis, okay, which, or to produce a state of hypnosis in someone, uh, which uh, fascinates them, entrances them, okay, uh, beguile or deceive them, or to um, have wicked intentions toward them, and to hold them spellbound. So again, you're being hypnotized by these digital demons without your knowledge, because I guarantee you, if you put that phone or that device down for two hours, you, those digital demons will know it, and they're going to be use something, okay, to bring you back to that world. It, it could be. Uh, well, basically, you can't operate without it. Okay, this is why I, like I said, I've taken control over what I do, not from what's coming from an external uh, point, but from an internal point. And if that external point meets me where my internal point is manifested, then that's okay. But for that external point to influence, my focus for this Sunday is not going to happen. I don't let that happen anymore. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't let that happen anymore. Excuse me, brother. Yeah. So, uh, excuse me, Lance. Oh, I'm taping. Oh, thank you. Thank you, dear. I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. All right. You good, brother? Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Just uh, okay. had to deal with something real quick. I'm good. Sorry about okay. that, brother. You know, man. I I'm like the fruit okay. of Islam. Any, any trouble goes down, I'm right on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. You definitely right, are. Man. Okay. The floor okay. is yours. All right. All right. Thank you. So, uh, and the last word I want to talk about is uh, possess or possession. Uh, you know, when we look at this word, we're used to how what we've been taught about possession. Um, you know, demonic and uh, blah, 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 and the physical manifestation of something ugly. No, 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 no. And matter of fact, again, using the familiar spirits terminology, it's going to come at you as something that's good for you or something desirable okay it's not going to come at you in the form of uh, like uh what do you call it like the exorcist or none of that garbage okay in fact when i was talking about um the leds having the organic material in them now um the poltergeist was one of the first movies that uh, came out, okay, where the actual uh, demon was coming through, was coming through the TV. And so I thought about it, I was like, huh, okay. So it's coming through the TV on this movie in a physical manifestation. But what if this is coming through there and it's not a physical manifestation, which is the case now. Okay. There is no, I, I believe that that was a, a way to um, deceive us, to think that that, that type of uh, digital manifestation is only done physically. Whereas, you know, any device that you turn on is a portal for these digital demons. And um, yeah, I wanna go back to what I was talking about. This is something I found out about how you have a, 
what's a good word for it? you because i i've heard them use this term in terms of dealing with celebrities oh a handler you have a handler in the digital world and that handler is constantly again uploading things to you in order to and you may not even be aware of it where you are being controlled by a digital demon and don't even know it okay and again they can use people wherever they are in any part of the world if they have an electronic connection to you that's all it takes it doesn't take anybody physically trying to connect with you anymore those days are long gone so our biggest concern right now should be um, the effect that it has on our children because like I was saying about that video game where um, that uh, child was going into a temper tantrum when the mother took the device away from him what he was playing with this. Because they have these new video games. Uh, oh, you better take a look at it. That's all I can say. If you have small children, you better take a look at these video games they're playing. Because... Uh, from from what I've seen and research now, they're going into for the juggler now. And again, many of these people are pedophiles. Um, but even the ones that are not pedophiles, they are involved in sex trafficking. Um, no matter how young your daughter or son is now, <laughs> have to worry about the boys too. Um, you have these wicked pedophiles and you have these people who are sex traffickers okay that use okay these digital demons to seduce our children or the other way around the digital demons are using them to seduce our our children um unbeknownst to us because again they use familiar spirits so they're going to be nice it's going to seem like a nice video game or it you know it's not going to come at you in some foul way to frighten you it's going to come at you in a way to seduce you where your desires will increase based on what it is they're uploading to you and again going back to that uh that app i was uh looking at where I saw those, uh, it was like a flash, uh, half a second. Uh, you know, I can I can feel how I felt now when I saw it, and uh, I was like, "Wow!" So what I'm watching is watching me too. Okay, and, and you know what? It may not have been. It couldn't have been humanized. It looked like some type of. Uh, I wouldn't say artificial eyes, but it didn't look uh, real, like Earth, like another person when you're looking in their eyes. It, it had another type of feel to it. So um, a lot of times now when, when I'm using, you know, the devices and looking at different apps and looking at um, software, I pay attention to things that I didn't pay attention to before simply now that I've become aware of this other dimension of this, not that I wasn't aware of it before, but just how this is uh, being used at, in such a uh, massive way, okay? It's being used in such a massive way that every single thing, every single time that we interact with these devices, these apps and these software, the software, there is an energy that's coming into us through this that is influencing what we do, how we think, who we like, who we don't like, how many likes do you have, or the game like they play with Lance, how many people you have viewing your, your video. You know, all of these things. And I know this for a fact because I had a guy, I guess he stopped after I sent him an email, he was pursuing me. He said, uh, for 
uh, I think it was for $50, I could have a thousand more viewers on when I was running my initial YouTube channel. Um, I, I, rem I remember this guy contacted me and he said, look, I can have, what is it, 10,000 uh, viewers for, I believe it was $500. And I sent him an email back. I said, look, if I had two people watching the video and they came there on their own volition, then that's what I want. I don't want any manufactured. Oh, the other thing he said was um, the comments. He said, I can, you know, for $50, you can have, uh, I think it was something like uh, 800 to 1,000 comments. I said, well, you know, brother, I don't know what kind of world you live in, but I don't want artificial comments and I don't want artificial views because I, you know, I don't pay attention to that. That that's not going to alter the information that the creator, creation spirit has given me to put out. That has no zero effect on that. And uh, so after I guess a couple times, and he's really trying to entice me and sending me different things to look at and he finally realized okay so maybe this guy's not gonna do then he, he shot me back he shot me back an email saying well you know <clears throat> if you want to be some someone who um nobody pays attention to <coughs> then that's your choice i said well Really, it's not because this shows me that you're a person that's unaware of the forces that um, govern life here on the planet, the universal laws that govern life on the planet. And I'm not in control of <clears throat> where this goes, how it goes, and why it goes. So <clears throat> just because you're telling me that you can do all these things to attract how you know this has no impact on the type of information that i'm going to put forward at all uh, so he said yeah well i recognize that so you no this is what he said. he said you must be one of these people because once they find out they can't control and seduce you then it turns out that <clears throat> that's used to what is the term he used? Being at a lower scale of marketability or something like that. I said, well, you know, you're entitled to your own opinion. <laughs> and uh, so the point I'm trying to make is that there, there are people who are using, okay, these digital forms to actually um, cause you to miss your assignment or to look away from your purpose in life by making all these promises to you, okay? And because you, you have not embraced your assignment, then they entice you with other things. But when you have embraced your assignment, like someone like Lance, there is no amount of enticement that can change that. So, once they find out that they can't do that, then they become angry at you. And they put all these stumbling blocks in your way and all these detours, you know, where, where you're, you know, feeling like, okay, well, I got to do something. I got to go online and do something that changes. And now you're right back on their playing field. So... I'm not saying that you shouldn't be online doing business or doing work or doing what, you know, what I am saying is be aware of, you know, the environment, your digital environment, be aware of that. Because I would say that affects us more now than uh, our physical presence or someone else's physical presence. Um, their, their digital presence has more of an impact on our lives and the decisions that we make than their actual physical presence. And this is very powerful 
But at again, at the root of this is these uh, counterfeit spirits that are using these digital demons to actually control our people, to um, attach our minds and our brains to this, where <clears throat> that's the only thing that we can focus on. So it's going to be a short one, brother. I just wanted to, to um, hit some points about this. And uh, basically, because I'm becoming aware of the deeper aspects of this, yes, I wanted brother. to kind of, kind of bring this out because this this warfare, so they tell you there is a war, there was a war in heaven. And so you you thinking some angels and stuff are fighting when really the, the heaven can be anything. Heaven can be or hell can be, well it, it's what we create in our consciousness, but it, it's also uh, the warfare that's being fought by these digital demons against us. Okay, that I interpret as hell. So there are a lot of different ways we can look at things. Um, again, we're boxed in to how we, we view life because, again, we have accepted the narrative of a people who have taken our language from us, our history, uh, re -cha changed our history and, and repackaged it to the world. Okay, and, and also... Um, detach you from all source energy, which is in nature. And so <clears throat> finally, what, what I want to say, I'm very concerned about our children in, in the sense that because, you know, adults are going to do what adults do, no matter what you say to them, whatever it is, whatever pleasures that um, increase their dopamines, then that's what they're going to do. There, there's no way around that. But the children deserve better. They, they deserve better in the sense that they know that we're fighting for them. And too many times we just turn over their lives to these people who are programming um, this war against them very effectively. And they're using, okay, these familiar spirits, uh, even against our children, where they don't see the threat. It's like I saw a meme one time where <clears throat> there was a candy store, okay, that didn't have a, a back. And all the kids could see was the candy, and there was a pack of wolves behind that candy. And so, you know, the, the point is, is you can't always look at what's right in front of you. You have to have the ability to look what's behind, because what's behind it is the real thing, okay? That's, that's coming at you. The candy or the cotton candy, okay, was just there to entice the children. But soon as they started grabbing that um, cotton candy, guess what? The wolves are going to attack them. So, um, you know, let them attack, okay? But we're going to expose them. The, the other thing to about this brother Lance is again, they're using our own people against us with this because these digital demons are using our own people to attack us. Okay, not just the coons, but people who are ruled by fiat. Okay, they're, they're using this in a very effective way because again, you know, <laughs> I, sometimes I don't even want to look at some of the things I see with our young people because it's like um, that song by uh, Gil Scott Heron, uh, we've got to do something to save the children because soon it will be their turns to rule the world and that they are so unaware of what they are soon going to be tasked with. And we know how fast time flies. We're leaving our kids open to these digital demons. We don't even question what they're looking at. We don't even ask them any questions about this. And then before you know it, it's too late. What happened? So I didn't know my child was being influenced by why didn't you know? I can think of several reasons why you didn't know. But 
Uh, now you know there is a full court press, okay, by these evil people that these digital demons are using them to spew hate towards our people. So with that, brother, thank you. I'll be, I'll be out, and yes, peace and love to you, man. Yes, yes sir. It's, uh, I'm gonna listen to yours, uh, the singularity as well, because again, you know, we're like lightning rod rods for each other. We have <laughs> to be, yes, we have to be. When we're connected electronically then we know that we're fighting against something that's constantly going to try to make us depressed, suicidal, in some cases, homicidal. Mm -hmm. right. and, and this le level of jealousy has gotten oh. to a crescendo with our people, like that message you sent me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's gotten to a point where, you know, you're just sick and tired of it. It's yeah. like, why are you still functioning at this level with all of the things we know, with all of the knowledge that we have? Why are you still, why are you still doing this? Mm -hmm. Why are you still functioning at this level? At some point, you can't keep blaming other people. We have to take accountability for what we're doing. There you go. Yeah, and, and we're doing some things that um, is gonna be, and, and I'll end with this. Like when I told you that time, I heard uh, Dr. Claude Anderson say that our children are going to be back in slavery. I believe he mm -hmm. said by 2015 during that time. Mm -hmm. and, and then on top of that, uh, Dr. George Frazier said the same thing, that uh, the um, baby boomers is the first generation of black folks that the generation coming under them will be worse off. Oh, and that, God, yeah, that, oh. that is something to really think about. Mm -hmm. And this is by design because it, with all the shit that black folks had to deal with, mm -hmm. um, how, you know, that it couldn't read or write, they still were able to build a world that nobody else could build under those circumstances. Exactly. But because of that, these evil people said, okay, and because we don't plan down the road, we just take things how they are for face value and don't question anything, mainly because we're uh, spellbound through religion, then they know that they can do shit behind the scenes, like that cotton candy in the woods that you're not even aware of. And by the time you look up, it's too late. That's right. So... So but true. thank you again, brother Lance. Keep up the great work, brother. And you. uh, you know, we we just have to keep. You know what I'm saying? We we have to, <laughs> yes, <laughs> we have to keep throwing punches at them, brother, That's and right. let them know we're not just gonna lay down. That's right. So peace and love to you, brother. And uh, I'll thank be you. looking forward to the next time we connect. Oh yes, let the countdown begin. Righteously. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, brother, brother Lance. Take care. Wish Peace.
Why are we called Negroes? Why are we deaf, dumb, and blind? Why is everybody making progress, yet we seem to be lagging so far behind? Why are we mistreated? Why are we in this condition, stripped of our name, our language, our culture, our God, and our religion? Here in America, all of our religious training has been gotten by the preacher. He has told us of a heaven way up in the sky that we can't enjoy now, but rather after we die. But all of the years that we're living, for us there's nothing but hell, pain, torture, and misgiving. Yet the Bible speaks of a heaven filled with material luxury, which the white man and the preacher has right here, so we see. So, my friend, take it for what it's worth. Your heaven and your hell is right here on this earth. So let's check back into history, which rewards all research and tells us plainly that before the white man gained entry to the east, he was living in the caves of Europe, a ravenous beast, eating juniper roots and eating flesh raw, till God sent Moses to civilize him and teach him the law. Then following Marco Polo, an explorer, he gained entry into Asia and Africa. From China, he took silk and gunpowder. From India, he took jute, manganese, and rubber. He raped Africa of her diamonds and her gold. From the Mideast, he took barrels of oil untold. Raping, robbing, and murdering everything in his path, the whole black world has tasted of the white man's wrath. So, my friend, it's not hard to tell a white man's heaven is a black man's hell. America, we were living in the east, by the Nile River, we were living in luxury, enjoying freedom, justice, and equality, we wore silken robes, and was of gold, we were the wealthiest and the wisest people, I'm told, now we are the poorest of the poor, nobody wants us at their door. My friend, it's easy to tell White man heaven is black man hell When the white man came to America He told the Indian I am your white brother He said, red man, I'll treat you the best Yet and still he pushed the Indian further west With his white woman and fire water Tricks and lies he stole America The original owner of this nation Is cooped up on a reservation So my friend it's easy to tell White man heaven, black man hell he needed someone to work the land His back was too weak He needed you, black man So he commissioned Sir John Hawkins To commit the world's most grievous sin To take a man who's born to be free And bring him down to 
sell a man as merchandise on his body put a price oh my friend it's easy to tell white man heaven is a black man hell 